Hi Pisces and welcome back to my channel. My name is Renee and this is New Angel Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. Pisces, this is your weekly sun sign prediction starting the 11th of April 2022. So this is the 11th of April 2022. It's going to be a very exciting week, Pisces. There's a huge conjunction happening in your sign. So Neptune and Jupiter are joining forces and coming into your, uh, your zodiac. So this is all about expansion, opportunity. There's a huge wave of um, wishes coming true. It's going to be a really big week, um, a very emotional week as well. So almost imagine like, you know, Pisces energy, you know, in tidal wave mode, pretty much. That's literally how big the energy is going to be this week. So hold on to your hats um, and let's get started and see what comes out. Angel Spirits Guides, Angel Spirits Guides, what do Pisces need to know for the week ahead? Thank you so much, Spirit. What does Pisces need to know for the week ahead? Thank you so much. All right. Wow. We've got the Empress, the Magician. This is really beautiful. And you have the Five of Wands. Bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Swords. Okay. All right, let's have a look at these cards. Very interesting. All right, Pisces. Uh, the Empress, the Magician, the Five of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. So we have a court card, we have a minor, and we have two major arcanas here, which is pretty spectacular, actually. Um, as I said, um, I feel like this week, Pisces, is going to be a huge week for you. You've got the Empress card here, which is all about... Uh, fertility, growth, and reaping what you sow, okay? This is a woman who's abundant. It's divine feminine power. She's goddess of earth, okay? She's ruled by Venus here. Um, this is a card of Libra and Taurus, so it is a combination of, you know, reward for effort, but um, stuff that you're passionate about, creative projects, you know, being abundant with your with your ideas and with your creativity. Um, it's sort of full steam ahead this week for you, Pisces. It's going to be a huge week and very rewarding. Um, you're going to be rewarded handsomely uh, for your creativity this week. So powerful, like really powerful. In the center of your reading, you've got the Magician card, which is Virgo and Gemini energy. This is all about making your dreams become a reality, okay? Making those, you know, picking up all these tools that you have in front of you on the table, putting them to good use, and turning those ideas and illusions and imagination into tangible projects, tangibility, okay? That's sort of the key word here. Um, and also manifestation, you know, you're constantly manifesting this week. You are in your element um, and your ideas are going to be gigantic. Um, just try not to lose sight of reality, okay? Try and keep one foot on the ground. Uh, as much as possible because you can get lost in your own sort of as I said imagination and creativity this week Not that that's a bad thing, but because Jupiter and Neptune are both in your sign um, and this is sort of an aspect or a You know, uh, you know um, a trine if you like or it's a good sorry It's a conjunction that hasn't happened. It's like once every 166 years or something. So it's it's really monumental this week, um, so I'd really love to know how the week pans out for you. Please leave comments for me in, below, in the description below so I get some feedback from, from my Pisceans. The outcome for the reading is quite interesting. You have the Five of Wands, which is about change, um, and it can indicate a couple of things. It could indicate, Pisces, with all these beautiful big ideas that you have, you could be trying to spin too many plates. Now, this is about juggling many ideas and trying to do too many things at once. But also, it can indicate a sense of competition in your environment. So there could be people around you that are actually, um, yeah, they're, they're quite competitive. You know, you might sort of find yourself, um, you know, the subject of, um, you know, imitation or something like that as well. You know, the, the Neptune energy is very dreamlike. Um, and there could also be this sort of conflict there with sort of petty arguments or, you know, seeing something online and having some sort of he said, she said kind of discussion with someone which, you know, you don't really want to do. You want to avoid that. I feel like you're going to be avoiding it anyway because you're embodying this overarching energy, which is the Queen of Swords. Now, this woman is uh, very direct. You can see she's sitting here and she's calling all the shots this week. She's not taking any BS from anybody. She's raising her sword and calling a spade a spade. You know, it's all about truth, facts, and not mincing your words this week. Okay, so if you have something to say to somebody um, directly this week, it's going to happen um, because you are, you are embodying this energy. This woman here, she's also the card of Aquarius. So this is very much, um, you know, thinking about the greater good as well and the collective. 
So guys, I hope you really enjoyed this reading. If you did, uh, please give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And if you'd like a personal reading, check out my website below, newangeltarot.com. So until next time, Pisces, thanks for watching and have a great week.